Okay guys, welcome to Fishing Lake Country. This is a port of catch. We're gonna make a new color today. This is a swim bait blend, swim bait jerk bait blend, dead on plastics, okay? We're gonna start off with our time at 155. And that area is what I usually start with. I got three and a half to four ounces. When it heats up, we're gonna pull out of it and I'll show you how we're gonna mix it. All right guys, if y'all hear a dog barking, I got an old beagle barking that uh, he's by himself. Now I had two beagles. They're 15. One was 14, one was 15. And one of them passed away a couple days ago. And they're old. He's old too. Uh, he's 15. That's old for a big one. He heard a dog barking up here in the woods. And I think he thinks that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, her. So, all right. Now, I'm using dead on plastic orange. Here, here goes the flake. Now guys, I don't measure the flake out in front of you because it takes so long. Gold, 008 flake. Gold, purple, orange. Um, that's what I put in it. You see the little gold flakes in there? Alright. Alright. Now, we're going to shoot that into the new mold. That's what I'm going to show you here in a second, as soon as we shoot it. All right. This one makes 20 at a time. Boy, she takes some, too. <laughs> All right. Woo. i tell you one thing. I'm not used to shooting 20 at a time. <laughs> it's a... Uh, so I could have shot both these molds. You know, I think you're going somewhere, but there, that's 22 and that's 10, 10 of each. But this one's 20. And I'll show you what it is, explain it to you in a minute. Let's let it get set up and we're gonna pull it out of there, okay? Okay, folks. Let's open this mold. Ah, if I can get it. Woo-wee! That's a bunch at one time, isn't it? Love the bigger molds. Ooh, what's up? Well, that's a lot of crappy right there, buddy. Let me get this glove off. All right. There you go. Can y'all see the orange flake in it? And the gold flake? That's pretty, isn't it? Now, look. I told y'all I'm trying to make something different. Somewhere somebody's going to say, I've seen baits like that. There's somebody. I look, I'm here making them. This, this color, somebody else is making strange colors, too. But I don't think I've ever seen one in a store that was solid orange. You see orange tail. And guys, I've made orange and gold. I've got baits y'all haven't seen yet. And a couple, I've got baits. <laughs> i got about five colors I haven't caught a fish on yet. Okay, guys. When I opened this mold and showed y'all these baits, I'm going to cut and stick this in there somewhere. Forgive me. I didn't tell y'all the name of this new bait. It's called a tadpole. Okay, it's called a tadpole. Now, the t tail's got the willow tail, just like the willow tail has. The bait called a willow tail. All right, it's got that same tail, but this bait is shaped like a football. The body is. You know why they've done that? You can use it either way. You can rig it flat, or you can rig it vertical like this, and the tail will swim left and right. Or you can rig it this way. It's made to rig either way you want to do it, this way or that way, okay? It's called the tadpole. That's what Jacob Bates calls it, so I'm going to call it the tadpole, all right? That's what they call it. So I left that, <laughs> I left that out. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, so I'm gonna cut that somewhere and stick this in there. So, <laughs> and uh, but our water's nasty, the fishing's tough, and you know, when it gets a little bit better. I fished this morning, uh, I caught some this morning, made a video this morning. I fished three days in a row now, guys. Our water was 40 about three days ago, it's 44 right now. It's coming up some, but it's supposed to rain here in a little bit. Rain to went, excuse me, day's Friday, it's supposed to rain till Wednesday. All right, guys. You know the drill, but here's what we're changing now. One through 300. That's right, we're going to double it. We was doing 150, now we're doing 300. One through 300, we're using the number generator. We're getting more people leaving guesses. Uh, I think I had like 50 some last time, uh, 50 or 60, and some of them are doubles. Some people leave double numbers, so I'm trying to spread this out, guys. One through 300, okay? So, look. Leave your number. Wednesday night, if you're new, I do the number generator. I film all that, put it together, edit it, load it to YouTube on Wednesday night, make it live on Thursday morning, 
and I'll comment. I'll go to your name and say, hey, you won this week. So you'll know Wednesday night if you won. Okay? And uh, Thursday morning, you can watch the video. And guys, y'all y'all great people. Y'all leave thank yous and all that kind of stuff. That's very nice of y'all to do that to people. Congratulations and stuff. That's really nice of y'all. Appreciate it. All right? So this will be loaded on a Sunday. And the giveaway is picked. The winner's picked on Wednesday. Gives you a few days. Okay? I try to load them on Sunday mornings. Sometimes I get up and get going around the house. I'm going like, oh, shoot. I ain't load that video. And it's 8 o'clock. But or 8.30. I usually get up around I'm 6, 6.30 and just not, not to get up at time, guys. You know how it is when you work all the time. You get a schedule going in your body. You just get up, don't you? Okay. Guys, look again. Appreciate you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the great comments. People are winning baits and saying, hey, I love them. That's what it's about. Okay? Catch fish on them. Catch big ones. All right? You're going to see some big ones coming up in this video, in the, in the near future video because I've been on some good ones. All right, guys. See you next time. Fishing Lake Country. I'll see you Wednesday night when I do the winner's video. All right, guys. See you then. Oh, folks. Finally found one, guys. I don't think he's very big. I'm a stone at fish today. <laughs> nice, decent. But I've got a new bait, uh, a new mold. Actually, I got it yesterday. And uh, I poured some this morning. I had to, I was working this morning, but... Okay. What do y'all think of that? What do you think of that color? Well, that's a good starter. He's about 12 and a half. We'll let him go. This bait's called the tadpole, guys. It's got the same tail as the willow tail. I'm making sure y'all make sure y'all recording. Make sure the <laughs> make sure the phone's recording that y'all got something. Um, and you can you can rig it either way. You can rig it flat like this, or you can rig it this way. See what the body shape is? Okay. All right, let's see if we can find another one. That's orange, and it's got uh, gold, purple, orange, and silver flake in it. Just trying to make something, guys. Y'all see this watercolor? Trying to make something that'll show up in this watercolor. And uh, I, I just got here. I threw out a couple fish, and they weren't paying attention to it. And I threw it this one in the first cast. He rolled up and got it. So maybe this color will work. You know, we talk about colors all the time, and guys, I watch YouTube, and I watch the Crappy Connection where they get the pros on there and pick their brains, and they say the same thing. You go from lake to lake, colors change, what's good, what's not, from day to day, even during the day, a color can change during the day. All right, guys, found another one. I'm about the same size. He's about the same size. A lot of folks out here fishing today because it's a pretty day. It's the prettiest day we've had for a while. Yesterday, yesterday it got, got warm here, but the wind was so bad. And he's both the same size. Look, he's got a dent in him. He's dented up. That's a dent and scratch. Scratch and dent model, right? He's about, he's probably 13, 12 and a half. All right, guys, I didn't even see this one. I seen him on the live screen. He got in a dead spot, and I just held on to it. I don't I don't feel like it ain't fighting like a crappie. Yeah, it is. I believe it is a crappie, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a nice crappie. Oh, almost, almost knocked him off. Come on. There you go. That's what we was hunting for. Bam. There's a nice one on the old orange. Some of y'all was, some of y'all was starting to laugh. I'm just checking my camera. Some of y'all was starting to laugh at me. I know. Oh, I can't believe Dennis made that orange. What do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> I'm going to turn this camera around in front. Uh, I don't do that very often. But I got another camera I'm going to put in the back sooner or later. There you go. What do you think? Let me back up a little bit. It's a nice one, guys he's going to be no he's 15 inches and he still could hit two pounds but he don't have enough weight to him he's probably a pound and a half pound and something like that guys i don't know he ain't no two pounds i thought maybe he was when i first glanced at him i said that and after i said that i went nah dennis he ain't no two pounds all right two pound one makes you go wow 
But that's a nice crappie. He's 15 inches. That's a nice one. Just went out there at about uh, 25 feet. There's a crappie right there, 25 feet. He's not a real big crappie. I don't. I might like to catch, find a big one today. But right now, I'm just trying to catch a few. There's my bait coming. There's my bait right here. My bait's right here behind him. Somebody said I had to clear. Some, did you see it come past him? Someone said I had the clearest live scope there is. And guys, I fight it all the time. Sometimes it's good. you got to complete, change it all the time. He said, you got to do a video about your settings. I appreciate that. But look, you got to change it all the time. I, I done changed it. I, I ain't been out here half an hour. I done changed it a couple of times. you got to change the sensitivity for the depth of water. Do I have a ghost tree? I get ghost trees at times. Uh, so right now I'm losing that fish. See, right there my bait, I lost it. There's a dead spot right there now. That dead spot changes from, see, my bait disappeared. Guys, the wind is getting bad as y'all can see the lake chopping here. I moved to another spot trying to find a place out of the wind some of it. It's not happening. Wow, this fish didn't look that big. I'm just holding, just holding the rod. <laughs> I'm just holding the rod. Well, he's bigger than I thought he was. I just left a guy up, talking to a guy up the lake where I was fishing that watches the channel. I gave him a bag of baits, guys. If y'all run into me on the lake, that's why I tell you, holler at me, I'll give you a bag of baits. Usually I carry about 10 bags on the, on the boat just to give away. And I'll give you a bag. Don't be afraid to holler at me. He said, you Dennis? <laughs> I said, yep. Robert, it was nice meeting you. I hope you get your live scope going. Uh, I was watching Captain Coleman this morning. On the, it's an old video with the crappy connection. If you ever watch some of their stuff, they get a lot of pros on there and talk to them. I'm trying to get this hook off, guys. The hook is in a, right there. <laughs> it's right there, guys. I just can't get my... Oh, God. All right, I got it. It's that orange one. Guys, that's a nice crappy there. All right, I'll go fast as I can here. Let's see what he, see what he is. Oh yeah, guys, he's 15 inches. I'll tell you what, I said this earlier. What, what is a 15 inch away this time of year? Got a little spot of black on him right there. Let's weigh him real fast and we'll let him go. See a little spot of black, look how thick he is. Look how wide he gets down here at the belly. The egg's hanging out. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, just having fun with you. Let me stand up. It feels better. All right, my scale reads in tenths. He's 1.9, guys. So he is a he is an ounce and a ounce and three quarter from being two pounds. So that makes him about two four. He's about 114, guys. 114 and a half, actually. All right, that's a nice crappy. So that's why I told you. He's 15 inches, but he's a nice crappy. Now, I caught one earlier. I said he probably weighs a pound and a half. He wasn't as heavy as this one, okay? But he probably did. The other one probably did weigh 1.8, one 1.10 one maybe. And they got eggs in them like that. And, you know, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, Chris was talking about on Sleep at the Wheel. He had a biologist on there. that's talking about the eggs, how many eggs they lay and stuff. Y'all go watch it if you want to. It's interesting. Age of the crappy and stuff. Here's my question. And I, I gave this for you, to y'all for homework a while back. Nobody's ever... Nobody's ever gave me the answer yet. How many ounces of eggs do they carry? Well, he said, now guys, I hate to say this if I'm wrong. I think he said 10 to 30,000. 30, but look, how much do they weigh? All right, you can see that girl was full of eggs. That's why she's going back. And like, he, like I said earlier, as long as we got crappy laying eggs, you're going to have crappy. All right, so don't, don't keep every one of them, especially those big females full of eggs. I know everybody wants to keep the big ones, but man, look how many eggs she's got in her. She was loaded with eggs, wasn't she? Little Billy was hanging out. All right, guys, look, I don't even see another fish on the death finder. Okay? Just sharing with you what I'm doing. I'm just running around here looking for looking for fish. Look, not even one on the death finder right now. <laughs> uh, the place I left was loaded with crappy, but they was all small ones. I caught one 15-inch there, but most of them were smaller. And that's why I ran into Rob. I said, I'm going to go look another place. 
And this is the second place I've been. The other place was a lot of small ones. Now, I knew that was a decent one, but I'm not seeing many here. There's not many crappy where I'm at, but it seems to be some decent ones. So I'm going to go looking for another one, and we're going to switch colors, guy. I'm going to switch to another one I made this morning. I think the reason the crappy like these so much is because they're fresh. You know, it's like donuts. You ever go to a donut shop and they just make them donuts? Oh, yeah, yeah. And But if you buy them when they're a day or two old, then that's good, are they? see two right there because my bait at them all right my bait's coming at them my bait's moving moving right to left see they're moving away from me I don't I might be behind them you see my bait came on and they disappeared see they're going to the right so all that counts too guys when you're trying to when you're trying to run them down I heard a guy on uh, one of the pros said he calls this hunting <laughs> well that's that's probably true it's a good name for it's hunting but as you can see, those crappy are kicking along pretty good. And uh, I'm trying to throw a head up now so that they, uh, they'll come to my bait. There's my bait right there. You see, my bait went right, dropped right in front of them. And see, I can't keep it close to them all the time because they're moving on 35 or 40 feet. All right, guys, it's been a while, I promise you. I done been. Well, I made another spot from where I caught that last one. I'm trying to get out of the wind some. This spot, man, he's he's mean. Great. <laughs> oh, he's decent size. I mean, he ain't look that big. Look, right now, I don't care if they're monsters. I'm throwing at them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying. I'm trying to look for a nicer one, but if they ain't monsters, I still don't see anything else. I'm throwing at them. You know. But I just had look at fell right out. This is that Jinko hook, guys. It's a Jinko jig head. I'll show it to you in a minute. Let me finish this fish. Look at the eggs right there. Look how look how swollen they are, guys. They don't have maybe two or three weeks, maybe. This is the uh, day's, uh, what is the day, guys? This day's 25th of February. So they ain't too far off, okay? Look how fat he is. All right. Bam. I'll show you this jig head. That's a nice crappy there, too, guys. I how not measure him. He's probably 14 inches. Old orange thing. This head has a war keeper. I would pull this bait off, but pull it off, that, uh, uh, it's going to tear up the bait. I'll have to show y'all one when I uh, do it. I, mean, I got a bigger one right here. Let me sit down here a second. I'm getting my butt wet. Somebody recommended me putting a piece of scrap carpet. That's a good idea. I actually got a piece of felt, too, I found on me. A piece of rubber. All right, look. This 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 is a different. This is purple and pink. But look. See now, see that little hook on there? This is a little bit bigger head, I think. Yeah, this is a 116th. This is a 332nd. Okay, folks, what do you think? Caught some fish? Hey, it surprised me. This bait surprised me. I just got this mold in. This is the first pour and catch with it. It's got a football looking body. The reason he done it is come Jacob's molds. And it's got the willow tail. The willow tail is very great. And the other bait that has a willow tail has a small body. Okay, this has a stinger body. Now, if you look at it, you can use it this way, or you can use it this way. That's why he made the body the way he did. Now, if you use it this way, you can jig it and get that flattened tail. If you use it this way, the body's going to be wider. It's going to float more. It's going to skim easy, right? It's going to swim easy, and the tail's going to go this way behind it. That makes sense? Okay? Hey, you catch this fish. Orange. And y'all see all different color flakes I put in. It's got orange flakes in it. I don't remember all that looking. Orange, purple, uh, gold. I think it's I think it's even silver in there. But uh, there it is. And it worked. Alright guys. Here's the winning. Let me cut a hang. Here's the winning pipe right here. And it's got a couple stinger shad in it too. I had four stinger shads left over from when I was bagging them. Extras. I just threw them in here. So you will get stinger shad in the same color. Yeah, when I make colors, guys, I usually make them in a couple different body styles, okay, to try. So we might make a video before we catch up the stingers, too, down the road. Don't be surprised, all right? Don't be surprised. There's the winning bag, plus, now I usually do this on Wednesday nights for, for the winners, but I'm going to do this tonight, okay? Plus, this is a different box. I wanted to show a different box this time. I told you I had a couple boxes. This one is all tank shad and flukes, but there's nice colors in here. That's a tank shad, okay? Uh, look at this one, green, green with silver belly. 
Okay, here's the gold. Y'all see me make a port of catch on it. Uh, and then there's the little fluke bodies. Here's a uh, shark truce. Yellows, the yellow. I like sharks, but I call it yellow. Love that color. Love that color. Uh, look, here's purple with a pink belly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, ugly green. I call it ugly green, but guys, <laughs> purple and pink. So, and there's some natural colors in here too. Here's a pretty green, moss green. Here's a natural gray. Okay. So, it's a variety of colors in this box. And what I do is I go through, if you got a bold color like this, with this one, I'll throw in a couple natural colors, maybe the yellow, okay? Then a bright color. I give you a variety. I give you a couple of bright colors, and I give you some natural colors. There you go, guys. You get five bags. You get the winning bag, and you get four of these bags. There's ten of those little bags, guys. I bag them up of ten. And there's three inch by, I think they're three by three bags. And some of them are taped shut. They don't have a zipper on them. Because when I ordered the bags, they sent me the wrong bags. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Leafy number one through 300. The, uh, the number generator is going to pick out on Wednesday night. On Wednesday night, I'll sit down with my MacBook. And we'll hit the number generator one through 300. And to pick a number for us, I'll make a video. I'll load that Thursday morning. Okay? All right. Leave your number on this pour and catch. Good luck to everybody. Thank you all. A lot of new people. Thank you. Leave your number. See you on Thursday morning.